Hey y'all, today I'll be showing you guys on how to make a sequins brush in Procreate. Let's get started. Firstly, find a hexagon shape in Google, tap and hold the image and press add to photos. Make sure that the image is transparent. Tap the plus sign to create a new canvas and press the square canvas. Then tap the wrench icon and press insert a photo. Then tap fit to screen on the toolbar below. Once you're done with that, color drop the color black into the shape. Then go to Layers and tap your shape layer and press Alpha Lock. Then get a white color and fill it into the shape. Go to Layers and remove Alpha Lock. Add a new layer and drag it under the shape and get a black color. Then drag the color into the center of the canvas. Now this part isn't really necessary but I like to duplicate my layers and keep them as a backup in case I mess up like the loser I truly am. Anyways, I tap the backup layer and press combine down. Then I tap the arrow to make the group smaller and then I hide it so it doesn't annoy me. Now for the original shape layer, duplicate it and hide the duplicate. Then go to the layer beneath it and start scattering them around. Oh yeah, make sure that snapping is on so you can use it like a guide. Anyways, then repeat the same thing until you're satisfied. And make sure that the sizes are different and rotate the shapes too. And merge the shapes together each time by clasping both layers together. I'm gonna speed up this process so you guys don't get bored. Oh yeah, and make sure that you don't ever stick the shapes to the edges to avoid an ugly square shape. Also, you don't have to use hexagons for the shapes, you can use other shapes too. I really should have said this sooner. If you're not satisfied with the placement of your shapes, you can move them around with the selection tool. You can also resize them. Want an easier way to duplicate your shapes? No worries, you can just slide three fingers down at once to open the copy and paste menu. Alright, now we're done with the first batch of shapes. So we're just going to lower the opacity of the top layer to about 50%. Then duplicate it and repeat the same process we did to the first batch. This tutorial is really boring, right? the same thing but lower the opacity of the shape to about 20%. And then do the process again but make sure to keep the shape small enough on this part. Yikes, I made a little mistake here. I made too much of a square shape, so please avoid doing this mistake too. You can fix the placement of the shapes right now if you'd like. and merge the shapes to the black background beneath it. Tap the layer and press copy. And now it's time to make the brush. So in the brush library, tap the plus sign to create a new brush. Then in brush studio, go to shape and press edit near the big circle. Press import and tap paste. In stroke path, you can change the spacing and jitter to give the brush the sequence effect. 
But since my dumb self made the shape too much of a square, I struggled in this bit. As you can see, this is what happens when you make your shape square-like. If you have the same problem, then you can just remove some of the shapes from the edges. Now this is how it was supposed to look like. Keep in mind to not add too much jitter to the brush or it would look floppy. You can test out the brush in the drawing pad to fix anything. Now go to dynamics. Here you can change the size and opacity of the jitter. I made the opacity to about 30%. I don't know why when I wanted to write 30, it would put 3. If you don't have an Apple Pencil, then you can skip this step completely. But you can change the flow pressure to max if you are using an Apple Pencil. You can also change the size pressure, but I don't like the way it looks. Now go to color dynamics. This step is completely optional, but I like to add a little bit of saturation and hue, like about 5% to each. For lightness, you can set it to the max and add 5% for darkness. The secondary color feature means you can use those two slots of color, but I didn't add it. Now time to head over to rendering. You see the mode intense glaze? Yeah, change that to intense blending. Then in blend mode, change it from normal to add. Then tap luminance blending. Now back to shape, we're just going to tamper with the shape behavior. Like scatter the shapes, rotate the shapes, etc. You see those four switches? Just enable randomized, flip X, and flip Y. Just leave the other one though. And we're done! The brush would look best in darker backgrounds, but it looks pretty decent in lighter backgrounds too. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!